uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna give a quick uh, instruction on how I assemble my uh, or how I put together my uh, glit glittered ball uh, center and it's with floppy center of course so first of all I have this uh, hot wire cutter which really really makes my life easier I mean imagine you know this has this is like make this will make the cut cleaner and easier and most of all it doesn't have all those light uh, like powdery foam that's very light that you know for me it's really hard it's an agony for me to clean up after all those you know cutting using just a normal cutter or knife so this one makes my life so much easier when it comes to cutting my uh, foam styrofoam balls so I will leave in the description below the link on how you can get all this uh, materials it's in my website actually and just click the link I will put it down everything that I use here except for the paper because I think I get the paper from Michaels yeah so let's start with this styrofoam cutter you know if you don't have this one no problem you can just cut the styrofoam bowl however you like as long as it's you know as center as as you can and you know it should work so this is a four inches ball and I use this one in uh, like large flowers that I really wanted to have the pop of uh, glitters on it but most of the time I use this size for a medium size flower this is like a two inches ball and both of this uh, styrofoam ball is in my website you can find the link on how you can purchase it so let's do the first thing first so we can remove this one and keep this out from our uh, from our table by the way you should really be careful if you are using this one because this thin wire here is really really hot so be extra careful of course we need to peel this off I'm just gonna show you how I put glitters on my on my balls you know and how I I keep the glitters intact and not you know flying around especially if you have a venue that are pretty strict with their place so let's start with cutting it in half so I will show you how this change my life how easy it is to cut in half and clean and without you know those white powdery styro left over that you will have if you are using you know knife or regular cutter and even with uh, this larger one it's really easier but make it sure to use like a very strong mask because there's a tendency that there's gonna be a plastic uh, burn plastic smell when you're doing this and another tip because the wire is hot you don't really have to see how clean it is you don't really have to push it because the wire itself will get through your uh, your foam and by the way there, this is the switch on and off and let's plug this out and let's sit this one out So let's plug our stick glue and glue gun because we're gonna use this one later. And you can buy the glue gun and the stick glue also in my website. 
and let's start so first thing you have your half of your balls and I'm just gonna use the medium size because that's what I'm gonna have for my project soon and these are the things that I really use you can find this one in my website also so you can select like the the larger texture and you can also have the fine ones uh, it's all up to you so the colors that I frequently use are uh, gold and I have the silver and I have like the rose closest to the rose gold so if you notice I don't put it in here but I put it on my ziplock so it makes my life easier you know if I need it I will just open the ziplock and dip it so I also use uh, Elmer's glue you can find it you know in all craft store for sure and lastly this uh, crystal ac acrylic so after you put glitters on your bowl and you dry it out I would suggest to spray this crystal clear acrylic coating because it would seal the the glitters on your bowl and you know it it won't uh, fly out everywhere so first thing is you need a piece of toothpick and this time i'm gonna use this uh rose gold closest to the rose gold color because this is gonna be on my next project and i need it i'm just making you know the advantage of making this and also making a tutorial for you guys to see so first thing we're going to put the half of our bowl into a toothpick and it's really easy actually it's like a kin kindergarten's uh, project so just spread it out evenly like so and you really want to make sure that your bowl surface is evenly coated with glue or because you don't want to have like there are parts that you know would would have so many glue on it and the other side is thin so having as having the glitters on a ziplock really makes it easier so see i just open it and just dip it you know make it sure that your ziplock is big enough for the kind of for the size of bowl that you are using so let's say for example if i'm using this one this size if you can see it will just get into the the sides of my bowl and it's not gonna work so what i do with this one i take like a piece of uh a piece of aluminum foil and then I fold the sides upward you know enough for for it to have like a bowl, bowl shape and I dump all my glitters in there and again instead of using the toothpick because this is larger I use like a barbecue stick and again I just coat it with glue and then roll it around the uh, the bowl that i made with the glitters on it so once you have this one once it's coated we are gonna need this uh block of styro that we can leave it up there and you know we can dry it out so again same thing with this one let's just Squeeze some glue. And let's try to evenly spread it out around the surface of our glitter ball. So again, just dip it around. 
you don't need to hold the glitters on just dip it and if there are surfaces like this one that doesn't have glue you just need to slightly patch it and again dip that area with the glue oh, with the glitters so again this is now ready for us to uh, place in our uh, extra styrofoam uh, block so I know it's very hard especially with the uh, rose gold to, to find the rose gold paper mostly I will just tell my client you know realis realistically rose gold is very difficult if they want to pay extra for us to uh, you know spend for a spray paint that's fine but if they don't you know the only options that I can make is have the rose gold as an accent like the glitter bowl that I I make here as a center but it's very very difficult to find uh, rose gold paper so I'm just wiping my hand because it's covered with glue we will just wait until that uh, until it dries out completely around two or three hours and after that once it's dry out you know you can spray paint with this one in that way you will seal all the glitters within your uh, styrofoam bowl so but anyway as I promise I'm gonna I'm gonna make a floppy center with styro glittered styro ball on it and this time because it's completely dried out and also i'm gonna use gold for my project this is what i'm gonna demonstrate with you so if you are done with your toothpick another tip don't throw it just stick it in there next time you will use it again so i'm up for saving so you have the completely dried out styro ball here with glitters of your choice actually and uh, these are the kind of components that I'm using. So if you are in Cricut Design Space, these are uh, made from the Dandelion Center. You can search the Dandelion into your images. But if you don't, you are a Silhouette user, or you don't, you are a Silhouette user, you can message me on Instagram, and I will help you how you can get this component. So. We have one piece of this large one, so the dandelion center, I just, you know, spread it out into the entire uh, 8 by 5, 8.5 by 11 paper. And I have four pieces which also made from one 8.5 by 11 paper of different color. So the first thing that we are going to do is get the two and fold this this is the good thing about the this uh, dandelion center because you can be very creative on how you are going to uh, use it there are different ways on how to really make you know a floppy center you can absolutely make various uh, texture just with one component which is this one So, we are just folding it and pinching the, the edge here. The same thing with this one. So, by the way, if you don't have, if you don't have a cutter, you can just use uh, an exacto knife with like self-healing mat and aluminum ruler you know you can just slice it with a ruler and make textures like this it's doable but you know because this is my business full-time business now you know i really invested on machine because it makes my life so much easier 
So once it's a uh, pinch of uh, folded and pinched, you know, we can just uh, seal it with the hot glue. Like so. And we're going to do the same with the second uh, piece. So we are going to be doing different texture of, you know, that you can find in one floppy center. Just using one component. Just the dandelion. So it's done. Now we can get our uh, styrofoam ball with glitter on it. And on the edge, we can start gluing this one around. And be careful because it's hot. Just make it sure you wrap it around. So the first layer is done, not first layer, uh, the first piece. So we're going to continue the second piece of the same layer around. So, our first layer is finished. See, it's already starting to have its form. Now, we'll continue with our second layer. The way how we make our second layer is the same, but we are not going to pinch to pinch the, the edge, but instead just, you know, glue it. So, instead of having... A sharp edge like this it will become more uh, curly and it will make our center become looks much fuller Like so, oops. And the same thing with the other piece. 